Alright, so we're getting ready to remove this three and a half ton train and replace it with a three and a half ton 14 through day and night. But let me show you what they did. Look at that. Look at that line set. So you crimped it off right there, brought it all the way to here, and uh, I guess it was out of three eighths. Same thing with the with for this with the suction line. Put a piece there, crimped it down, went all the way back. So yeah, no wonder this unit was probably drawing lock road ramps. Didn't put the right lock size line set in. So maybe we'll get some video of this. Maybe we won't. It just uh, probably not the outside because. Tim's going to be working on the outside here. I'm going to be working on the inside, changing the coil. So, yeah. So, that's it for the train unit. I guess it isn't hard to stop a train. All you have to do is put the wrong size line set. You know, that'll take care of it for sure. So I go inside to start taking the coil apart uh, and get it out of the way. Walk out here, walk outside to get a wrench. And Chum's got the new unit in place, leveled up. He's getting ready to start running the line set uh, to it and hook the wiring up. And I'll be back outside to, to get it brazed up. He's gonna be done out here before I get done inside. All right, so here's my indoor coil setting uh, on the furnace. It's actually in a closet See, there's my door. But the deal is, see the door frame? It's shorter than the coil, so I'm hoping I can uh, take this coil out, kind of turn it over and get it out of there without too much of a trouble. Because my new coil is shorter, so it should slide right in place. But the damn train coil is way taller so hopefully I'll be fine all right so the coal is not going to come out by itself so I had to use plan B because that was plan A well, actually plan A was taking all the screws out and trying to turn it around but I'm just not gonna be able to do it all with the coil in the case um, I could but I'm gonna go with plan B for the time being. So I'm gonna push the coal back in. I'm gonna get the shears uh, on the drill and I'm gonna cut it. And then slide that out of the way or push that out the way. And then I'll be able to have a little more room. All right, so here's plan B. So what I'm gonna do is try to get in here, cut that top and cut that bottom, slice it, push that coil open, and then I'll be able to, uh, should be able to pull everything out by then. Alright, so that's the bottom. Let's see if the top goes in smooth.
All right, then. <coughs> so that's that. I got a screw right there. I got to take out. Now the whole thing will come right out of there. I know it looks like I'm kind of doing it the messed up way, but you know what? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Get that out of here. Now, maybe I can lift this off. get it out but but we got it I had to cut the side of the box all right so I had decided what I'm gonna do instead of trying to to cut all the mastic and everything out of the whole box and then try to pull that box out what I'm gonna do is do the same thing I'm just gonna slice all the way around and then pull that center out and if I want to I just take the snips and do it in three pieces um, but they gotta rebuild up there anyway. Uh, so anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use those shears. It'll be a lot easier now since the coil's not in place. I can do it on the inside versus trying to go on the outside. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I finally got everything taken apart. Got my uh, plenum straightened up as best I could. I'll do, the, I'll do it better when I get the s like on there. Uh, but as you can tell from the back, that white goop is mastic. I went ahead and sealed the back so when I set the coil on top of it, uh, it'll seal in the back. And then when I do the coil, the transitions, I'll seal everything up from the inside except for the front. And we'll be good to go. So let me get the coil on there and start doing my metal work. Or actually doing the doing the line set so we can start pulling vacuum on it. All right, so all I had left to do is the insulation, put the flue pipe on, got everything else done. Um, just waiting on the eco bee to spread its wings. Ah, there we go, see? So anyway, let me uh, set this thing up. And yes, everything's correct. Let's see, nope. Fahrenheit, yes, yes, uh, main floor, next, uh, next, all this can be redone, um, off, let's see, back, yeah, we're in the United States. New York. I'm gonna skip that right now so I can start this thing up. Uh, All right, now I'm gonna start this thing up. 
Let's see. Cooler. Main menu. All right, so let's go start it up. All right, we're finishing up. Hold on one second. You probably can't hear me, can you? Hold on. What about now? Can you hear me now? That dang thing is so loud. Anyway, there's our um, outdoor units running. Uh, time car, time car, uh, time started getting uh, to uh, where we needed to go to the next stop. So we kind of ran the video short, but uh, super, or the sub cool is set to nine, nine degrees. And, uh, we're good to go. But yeah, that train, man, the homeowner was like, hey, the neighbors are going to take me now. Take that loud train out of here. But uh, it's pretty dumb. It's pretty good now. You saw what the inside looked like. Uh, that's the trash from inside the train. The uh, operating instructions, whatever, service manuals. So anyway, uh, yeah. So it's done. Glad to be done. Three and a half ton. ICP. Labeled day and night. Good to go.